Hello, can you believe the sitcom A Shop in Take a Breath was released 46 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now? Who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Richard Wilson was born on July 9, 1936, in Greenock, Renfrewshire, England. He portrayed the character Basil Dawson in the sitcom when he was 41 in 1977. He is now living happily at 87. He's the fellow that did me out of a week off work last winter. Hmm? I come in with a stiff neck. Oh, shocking it was pain up here. What happened? He cured it. <laughs> I just thought I'd been, I was getting a bit fed up being, finding ways to be angry. <laughs> Different ways to be angry. Not everyone. David Jason was born on February 2nd, 1940, in Edmonton, Middlesex, England. He played the character Peter Barnes in the sitcom when he was 37 in 1977. He is now living happily at 83. You get to. <laughs> you went. Uh, well, from here? Yes. Uh, two steps down the corridor. <laughs> These idiots mm -hmm. and everything. And it's uh, just a lovely moment, but the other thing about it, which I just... Uh, mention quickly is that it's Bella Emberg was born on September 16, 1937 in Brighton, Sussex, England. She portrayed the character Doris in the sitcom when she was 41 in 1978. We regret to inform you that in 2018, she passed away at 80, leaving us deeply saddened. A boy! I've got a little boy! A little boy! Mr. Stone, it isn't a boy, it's a girl. And will you please let go of my finger? <laughs> Health. Give it me. Alan Armstrong was born on July 4, 1946, in Enfield Plain, County Durham, England. He played Albert in the sitcom when he was 32 in 1977. He is now living happily at 77. It's only had one previous owner. Who oh, was that? Dr. Davis. <laughs> <laughs> we'll strip it down and send it the estimate. That's the best way. Then you can let us know if you think it's worth it. Yeah, well. Big star at that time, wasn't he? Yeah. What was it like? Because you had a lot of scenes with Michael Caine. I did. Well, it was great because, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. I, I... Patricia Brake was born on June 25, 1942, in Bath, Somerset, England. She portrayed the character Sheila Barnes in the sitcom when she was 35 in 1977. We regret to inform you that in 2022, she passed away at 79, leaving us deeply saddened. That's not very romantic. Well, I haven't got time to be romantic. Well, that's a pity, because I've got a night stopover. Have you? Yeah, then I have to be back till 2 o'clock tomorrow. Means a lie-in and... And, you know, even in the winter, it does get cold. I mean, I'm, I know I've, I've actually seen snow that year that I was there, uh, which is very unusual. Harry Ludwood was born on May 23, 1921, in Manchester, Lancashire, England. He played the barman in the sitcom when he was 60 years old in 1981. We regret to inform you that in 2003, he passed away at 82, leaving us deeply saddened. Oh, little Whittington. See? No, I'm married. Observe some levity. Light-heartedness in this response to the words of the prophet, which I do not ascribe to roly-poly pudding. We shall return. Gary Wathorn was born on July 3, 1943, in Paddington, London, England. He portrayed the character Dennis in the sitcom when he was 37 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2022, he passed away at 78, leaving us deeply saddened. And then suddenly, under the right conditions, reproduced. I don't think so. I think you should examine parallel case histories, thinking in terms of... <laughs> Glyn Edwards was born on February 2nd, 1931, in Penang, Malaysia. He played the character Mr. Smith in the sitcom when he was 51 in 1981. We regret to inform you that in 2018, he passed away at 87, leaving us deeply saddened. I can't drink it, Inspector. It's too wet. 
Don't waste time, lad. I am allergic to wet tea, honest. Now, if I had one of them McVitie's rich tea biscuits... So you were brought up in... Brought up by my granny and granddad in... Southsea, Portsmouth. Okay. And uh, I was there, I said it was mine. Malcolm's story was born on January 13, 1948, in Hull, England. He played the character Cyril Potts in the sitcom when he was 30 years old in 1977. He's now living happily at 75. <laughs> Maggie Jones was born on July 21st, 1934, in London, England. She played the character Jean in the sitcom when she was 45 in 1979. We regret to inform you that in 2009, she passed away at 75, leaving us deeply saddened. What's this? Emergency. For us? That's right. Can we sign for him? No chance. <laughs> Norman Chapel was born on December 31st, 1925, in Lucknow, British India. He played the character Thompson in the sitcom when he was 56 in 1981. We regret to inform you that in 1983, he passed away at 57, leaving us deeply saddened. But I normally get my head down about then. It's the middle of the night, you know. Yeah, but that's your job, isn't it? Yes. And I hate it. <laughs> Brian Pringle was born on January 19, 1935, in Glasgow, Tamworth, Staffordshire, England. He portrayed the character George Manson in the sitcom when he was 42 in 1977. We regret to inform you that in 2002, he passed away at 67, leaving us deeply saddened. Lens. No problem. It's a Seiko lens. They use it on the Olympus OM-1, one of the best cameras in the world. Well, I suppose they're all right for you boys, but you wouldn't get a professional using one. Margaret Courtenay was born on November 14, 1923, in Cardiff, Glamorgan, Wells. She played the character Sheila's mother in the sitcom when she was 55 in 1978. We regret to inform you that in 1996, she passed away at 72, leaving us deeply saddened. Daughter! All right, darling, get out! <laughs> Will anybody like a cup of tea? I couldn't touch anything in this house. I'll disinfect the cups. Now listen, <laughs> Sheila. Tell me who is your favorite character in the sitcom, The Shop in Take a Breath, and share your thoughts about the deceased actors by leaving your comments below this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you 